Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Orochium Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is work our way over here to the left side. We're going to have a construct that we need to take out. It shouldn't be too difficult. Go ahead and take out this guy. And once you do, we're going to run to the back corner and we're going to use Ascend to go up to the next level here. Now, once you ascend through this block, we're going to have a ladder. We're going to climb to the top of this ladder. Just around the corner, we'll have a spot where we can crouch and go underneath. Once we get over into this room, we can jump down, and if you pull your chute, you can use your bow in midair to hit this construct. And we're going to have another construct on the other side that we'll need to take out. So these are the only two that are up here. And once you whack both of these guys, you'll be able to open up the chest. And inside, you'll get yourself some arrows. Now, once you grab the arrows, we're going to turn around and work our way up these stairs. And you just need to use Ultra Hand to pull these doors apart. We're going to have some lasers here. We're going to crouch and avoid these lasers, and we're going to have two constructs in here that we need to take out. We'll take out the one on the left, take out the one on the right, and we're going to go back into the room with the lasers and we're going to purposely run into them and they're going to open up this little secret passageway underneath. Now we can work our way through these lasers and when we get to the back, we can use Ascend and we'll have our second secret chest in the shrine. And this chest is going to have a small key, which we actually need to get out. So this is an important one. So grab the key out of the chest, use Ascend to go back up top. And once we make it up top, all we need to do is turn around and work your way back down the stairs to where you guys can see this little ball locked in a cage. We're going to use that small key to open up this door and grab that ball. So once the door opens up, you can either grab the ball with your hands or just use Ultra Hand. And we're just going to go back up the stairs. And on the left over here, you guys are going to see a lift that's just going up and down. We want to take this ball on the lift and take it upstairs. So you can just wait patiently for a second. It'll come back down. And once it does, just hop on there. It's going to take you up to the next level. And once we're up top, we'll work our way up some more stairs and we're going to drop the ball in this little circle here. And once that ball connects, it's going to open up this gate, which is going to have a little airplane, which is what we're going to use to get the ball to the finish line. So we'll go ahead and grab the airplane first so the gate doesn't shut on us. We can then take the ball and put that on the airplane. Go ahead and attach it to the front. You can ride the airplane if you want. You don't have to, but we'll hit the fans and it's just going to send us into this wall directly in front of us. And we're just going to jump off. And all we need to do is wait for that ball to come down. You can hit the fans before you jump just to make sure that it doesn't keep flying into the wall like this. But once it gets down, all you need to do is ultra hand the ball off the plane, throw it into the final little circle, and that's going to open up the door for you to leave the shrine. But this is how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.